Hey everyone, it's Cook Science here. So, I'm under this tunnel. Um, I was just thinking, I made a clicking sound. With that, because I can hear the echo come back, I should be able to calculate the speed of sound with this. So I need to get, there'll be a couple, a couple of rough numbers here, but what I need to do is um, get the time it takes for the sound to come back and the distance of this um, uh, of this corridor here. So I'll attempt to do that now. I might use the timing on the video to get the sound. So I'll do a separate recording of me just clicking and then I'll work out timings there and then I'll uh, do some rough distance measurements here. So let's do that. Alright, so it wasn't really working trying off the video to get the, um, the, the timing of it, but what I did do instead, I used just the stopwatch and that um, seems to work enough. I got roughly uh, 300 milliseconds, so I'll use that, but um, now all I gotta do is try to get a uh, measurement of this corridor all the way down to the end wall from this line. I'm sitting on this line here, that's where I was taking the sound from, so. I have two different methods. So one is just the classic, you, you take a step that's roughly a meter. Another one is actually using my phone here. I have this app that can uh, pretty accurately, it's, it's like an AR measurement tool. So I can um, measure, say, the distance between this and this, count how many there are, and then um, multiply that and then get, get, get a distance. I'll measure both ways and perhaps take the average or if they're pretty spot on. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try a few things and uh, see if I can get as accurate as I can. Okay, saw that just then. I uh, just did some screen recording uh, using the app uh, to measure between the gaps here. I got, you know, pretty accurately 60 centimeters per thing. So actually, I'm just going to use that measurement now. I'm just going to count all of these. So uh, let's have a look. Seventy-seven. That one was 77. This is uh, give or take about half half of one of these. So I'll call it about 30 centimeters there. But now, because what I need to do is measure the sound, the distance from from that spot over there to this wall and then back again. So I need to double 77, and then this will just count as one because it's about half. So uh, 77 times two. What's that? That's a uh, it's 154. Oh yeah, 154, then plus that half twice, so plus 1, 155. So now, 155 times 60, that's what I need to do. Alright, so the math is pretty much mostly done. So what I did, so that all equals out to um, roughly um, 9,300 centimeters, which is 93 meters. Um, because I want to get the final um, like measurement in meters per second. So. That means I need to go 93 divided by 0.3, and that should give me the answer. And with that, that gives me 310 meters per second. Now that's pretty close, because at sea level, uh, although I'm not at sea level, that's that could be a discrepancy there, but at sea level, the speed of sound in air is uh, roughly 344 meters per second. So um, from measuring the distance with my phone, um, and doing a quick stopwatch measurement on the time it takes for the sound to travel. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that result. So I got 310 meters per second. That's pretty fast. Now I hope you actually enjoyed this type of video. This is a little bit different. It's not um, as well kind of planned. I was just going for a walk. I found this little tunnel here and thought, hey, why not try to calculate the speed of sound? Um, so if you do actually enjoy this type of video, you know, and you want to see me um, make more of this sort of thing, just kind of 
uh, spontaneous, off the cuff, you know, just straight up, just random, then, uh, you yeah, know, give it a like or pop down in the uh, description and tell me what you think about it. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, hope you learned something, and uh, we'll see you next time.